Hey guys, we're at Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess. To tell you now, my imperishable night's over. It's finally over. And no, I was not playing the game on Ustream. I was actually referring to my recording night last night. And after tinkering for like five minutes, I finally got it. <laughs> Sorry to get it on camera, but you know. Look at it. Look at the majesticness of this sword. And if you don't know what this is, you are completely stupid when it comes to Legend of Zelda. Because this has been mo in most likely. Not mo. Not, actually, no. The first two Legend of Zelda games didn't have this. So yeah, this was in pretty much every other Legend of Zelda game from 3 onwards. Oh, snap. The dark powers. And... Yep, it wouldn't be a true Legend of Zelda game without this. You got the best sword! With dramatic music. Hey! Dumb truck! Stop it. Yep. Do 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 Well, we are the hero of time in some situations, or the hero of Hyrule. We're a true hero. Hero. We're the heroes of goddamn Hyrule. Evil magic, uh huh. Yep. Careful, touching and turn back into the beast. I think like this is too dangerous. You'd probably leave it here. But on the other hand, yep. Midna, you sneaky, sneaky person. Oh, she seems scared to tell Link something. I know what it is, but I'm not going to say it. Now, exit the temple. Or ruins of a temple. Come out. And isn't the thing supposed to trigger that not until later? Um... Okay, I'll go in this area. If it doesn't trigger, it's uh, the later trip. Yep, it's the later trip. Okay, teleport. Wait, warp. Now, this part confused the balls out of me when I was smaller. Because I didn't really get how to do some of this stuff, but now I do. And also, we're going to... Learn how to speak. You're going to get the upgradation for, well, I say upgradation, the upgrading! We're going to get the next hidden skill, which is, which one do we have? Wait, I don't want to see the post I want to see the hidden skill, I mean, oh, we actually get one of a, one of the good skills in the GameCube, not in this game, though. Hey! Yo, hey man, what's up? Greetings. Uh, um, I think that's important saying about something, but I'm not gonna do it. And why do I have <laughs> the hero clothes on? Yo, need this on, but I wanted to be on. <laughs> I got to break that cough going on right now. <laughs> yes, as you can probably hear, it's a very bad cough. <clears throat> I think it's more than that. So come out here.
Do do do. Hey. Stop going all bullshit with me, controller. You had good days before. Do do do. do. What? Ayo? Ayo? Whatever her face is out here? Yep. There's the Wolfie. Hey, Wolf. Or past link. Now, there's multiple theories behind this thing. It could be a past link. It could be a past warrior fallen by Hyrule, the greatest warrior. Just like Sasato, but he wasn't joking. So there's multiple little things behind this. I think the most logical answer is it's a past link. Even though the armor doesn't make it look like it. Yeah, Master, it was the uh, backslasher. L target? I mean, Z target on my end, not L target. That's Ginky. The helm splitter. I love this move in the Ginky because it was actually responsive. Okay, first you gotta perform chill attack, then hit A to do the helm splitter. Uh, yeah. Yeah, my nutshell doesn't want to do anything, so that's a little wonky. Wonky. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, this is one of the forbidden moves I have never really used much. I won't lie, in the Wii version, I don't like it. <clears throat> so there's only three more hidden skills you have to obtain. Now, a couple of other ones are a couple of my favorites. Yeah, so the other ones are a couple of my favorites, and yeah. This game is really good, even if you don't want to have all the hidden skills. You could play for the game with just having the one hidden skill, but I'm not going to do that, because that will be suicide for right now. Okay. As you all know, every great hero in every video game can survive infinite heights. Just like Final Fantasy logic. But you're like, wow! It doesn't even let you show me hitting the water. Yeah, this is where you're supposed to be anyway, so. Yep. And when you thought we were done with Lake Hylia, nope. Actually, there's a lot of our stuff you do in Lake Hylia, but I'm not going to do it because they take forever. I like he uh, Lake Hylia. It's nice. And some people think this is the direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. I would w I would want to agree with you guys, but I'm gonna have to say this isn't, cause certain facts about the terraforming, it takes certain thousand years to do. Um, number one, Lake Halia in Ocarina of Time was flat near the edge. This one is near how. I would like to open the map, please, if I can't. Okay, so, theory number one, how, why this isn't, um, connected to offering a time in the slightest. One, Lake Hylia was never close to the castle. It would be somewhere off here. Two, um, when did Lake Hylia get so big? Three, Death Mountain was never, well, what the hell am I saying? Death Mountain was Kakariko. Okay, so, if you guys said anything about that, and the terraforming of Hyrule Fields, it just doesn't add up to people, so this isn't a direct sequel to um, Ocarina of Time, unless you want to count 7,000 years into the future where he went to, yeah, you get the point. <laughs> So there's multiple theories behind all this. I'm not going to go into all of it. But you get the point that I know like somewhat of... I can put up somewhat of an argument of this not being a sequel. Go away, parrot.
Now, if you'll think it is the direct sequel, go talk to Red Zero. Who is Red Zero? He's on the bottom of my contacts, which I kind of have to admit sucks because he kind of deserves a lot more than he's getting. But still, at least he's on my list. Um, okay. Hollow Stone. Now, we didn't activate this one, did we? Okay. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I do have to admit, I was kind of surprised when I got that. That's one of the toughest songs for me to remember. <laughs> yep. So you know what, after this recording session, I'm going to save and quit, and then like, you'll carry on from where the hell I get off from. Hey, the Coliseum. Well, it's actually called a col Coliseum, not a Coliseum. Well, people say it different ways, so you know what, grow up. Grow the hell up right now. Now, where is it? <coughs> Where did my little past self go? Oh, that's in the one area. Okay, we're gonna be going there anyway, so. Yeah, remember those people in the bar hanging around that table that I didn't talk to and I did mention you could listen to them? Well, one of them is here. Up that pillar. Gotta make it to the pillar. Yeah, whatever. Um, these guys listen to Lake Kylie. That's really good. Circle, 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 circle. How big is this pillar? Well, pretty big, lad. Okay, so yo. Uh huh. Gadirdu Desert, yep. But sadly, the Gadirdu are dead in this game. Now, that would take thousands of years. Yet again, another thing saying that this isn't a direct sequel. Because when people refer to di direct sequels, it means like... Uh, five games passed, I think. But nah, this isn't a direct sequel unless Miyamoto himself wants to correct me. So you know, we got a note. We got to get the cannon master, the cannon master, and now we get to launch ourselves into the Gadirdu Desert. Ah! Ah! Yeah, sorry, you sneeze. Yeah, we gotta go. Now, the first time doesn't cost you, but. If you want to go later and you haven't activated a certain thing, it will cost you. So I would say this is like the second half of the game. But yeah, the second half of the game is actually real fun. <laughs> this is actually where the game starts to like pick up and like you have the most fun in. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna say this right now. Bad area to have your Zoran tunic in. I mean, Zoran armor tunic. So you still have Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm waiting. Yeah, I was gonna have to say this, um, cut this later. <laughs> 